Hi everyone, you know it's time for another box from Wink. This is going to be my fifth box. And remember, thirsty is no way to live. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys. Oh, it means so much to me to have you guys stop in and spend a few minutes of your day with me. It's going to take longer than a few minutes, sorry. So yeah, it just means so much to me to have you guys stop in. I appreciate you guys so much. You're awesome. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you hit that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join me for future videos. Today we're doing Wink. W-I-N-C. Um, I am loving the subscription. It has just been so fun for me and just trying different wines from all over the place, from different countries, different continents, and it's just, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. And I'm going to have a link below along with a quick description of the Wink Wine Club. I'll also have a video up here, which will be my very first Wink uh, unboxing. And I'll have a playlist at the end so you can check out some of the wines that I've had on with this. It's just really been fun. But anyway, it basically, if you use my link below, um, it's going to take you right to the website. You're going to take a little quick questionnaire, and it's not about what wines do you like. It's what foods do you like. From that, they can curate a box for you based on your comments if you are a wine connoisseur and you know what you like you just want to have it delivered to your house every month or you just want different wines available to you without having to go shopping you can pick the wines that you want they have a ton of them if you're a novice like me and you're just having fun experimenting and trying to figure out what you like i've had really good luck with the boxes that they've curated for me i have enjoyed every single one so far just a lot of fun and again it's $29.95 for your first four bottles if you stick with it after that it will be $59 shipping is free and again if you use my link below I get a free bottle of wine yeah I know how how nice is that but anyway for box number five I got four bottles of wine that sound amazing yeah so I've got one from Australia I've got one from Austria I've got one from Germany and the one that I decided to open first is from France. This one, it's a special birthday edition for this uh, vineyard that's uh, celebrating 10 years. And they created this special bottle. And what I love about this is I love the name. I've already uncorked it, so it's been breathing a little bit. And it's 10 out of 10. We drink again. That's the name of it. And you can see this sharks that are on here that are always going to remind me of the movie Jaws because that was the first uh, movie that Rick and I went to see together when we first started dating back in 75, 1975 and um, yeah so yeah Jaws is when I'm homesick in the summer I watch Jaws when I'm homesick in the winter I watch Storm of the Century and sometimes I mix and match and do them both in the same night I know that's crazy isn't it but anyway so I love the name of this looking forward to trying this again I've had it uncorked so it's been breathing for a little bit and we're going to put a little bit in my glass it's a nice deep kind of purpley color I don't think anyone can really see it but it is really coating my glass nice I know they call it legs um, so this is telling me that it's got a higher alcohol content and uh, I'm looking forward to trying this so we're just going to kind of swirl it around get a little bit more air in there kind of release the fragrances that have been bottled up in here 
So thanks again for joining me, guys. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. Cheers. Oh, I'm going to sniff it first. It smells heavenly. I smell cherry. Maybe some pomegranate, some raspberry. Also, I've kind of got that sensation that I've walked into um, a tobacco store where you've got all these different scents and flavored tobaccos. That it's that kind of smell. Alrighty, smells divine. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. It's got some nice tannins in here, and um, instantly you put it in, and as you're swirling it around, the front of your mouth just starts to dry out from the tannins. It's rich, it's smooth, it's velvety. You go to swallow it, the acidity from the fruits kicks in, your mouth starts watering, and those flavors just start bouncing around back there. It's really good. Uh, again, um, for me, I, it was cherry, pomegranate, some raspberry maybe some kind of spice in there. Um, it's got some nice rich tannins. It's just, it's really, really nice. So anyway, I printed my notes, so it's about time I read them. See how wrong I am. So anyway, this is a new wine to Wink, and um, and it was just created for this uh, 10th birthday. Uh, so only 695 people have tested it so far, and their rating was a 4.1 out of five. So that is nice. It says it's a rich red fruit. It's a crowd pleaser or a one pleaser. Um, it's got medium body, dry. Alcohol is 15.3, so it is a little bit higher than some of the wines that I've been getting from them. Tasting notes, they say a cherry, pomegranate, raspberry, and spice. And it says this one is dedicated to you, our wine-loving community, in celebration of 10 years of good times and great wines. For our 10th birthday, we wished upon a little grape, and our community made the dream come true. Um, it says, this is made from organic grapes with tasting notes of red cherry, raspberry, pomegranate, and spice. And this is our way to say cheers to all of you. Here's to another, here's to another fantastic 10 years. It says uh, you can serve this at either room temperature or slightly chilled. It pairs well with pizza, ribs, Mexican, pasta with red sauce. So all those foods I love. So anyway, thanks so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. I appreciate you guys so much and we will see you next week for bottle number two. Hi everyone, welcome back for bottle number two from my Wink Wine Club. And I know I try to rush through some of these because I want to get all four bottles in one video and I don't want it to run too long and yeah, I'm not doing great at that, but I always, always forget to mention this. So I want to get this done, get it out of the way. Again, using my link, you are going to get your first four bottles for $29.95. I would get a free bottle of wine, but if you have Rakuten, or what I still call Ebates, and it just kind of automatically pops up on your computer when you click on a site that uses Rakuten, you will, and you haven't used anything on Wink before, you're going to get $9 cash back from Ebates, Rakuten. So you actually, your first four bottles are going to be $20.95. So good. I know. So anyway, today we are going to do one of the white wines that came in my subscription from Wink, W-Y-N-C. This one is uh, a Gruner, Gruner Weltliner. It's from Austria. Nice white wine. Got their symbol here. Maybe it's a, another eagle, kind of like the United States eagle. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to pour this in here and check it out. So I hope everyone is having a great Friday. I always try to do these on a Friday night and then figure out how to put it together so on another Friday night I get to post them all. Anyway, it's nice, light, golden, really nice pale color. It smells. It doesn't have a lot of scent. I, I'm picking up pineapple, maybe like a honeydew melon. And of course, 
wine. Alrighty, cheers everyone. This is good. So anyway, it's when you first put it in, you can just feel that dryness right away. It kind of just starts to dry out the front of your mouth, the inside of your cheeks, your upper palate, and you go to swallow it. All those flavors kind of start bouncing around back there. Your mouth starts watering like crazy. Everything just kind of comes alive. It's smooth. It's I know they're going to say it's a light body, but to me, it's it's got a medium body. It's got a fullness to it. It's got a richness to it. It coats your mouth. Tastes great. I'm tasting pineapple, um, some melon, either a lemon or a lime. Really light kind of tartness back here. It's just really light. It's very fruity. I think it's got a higher alcohol than some of the white wines that I've had, but it's um, it's still on the light side. It's going to be good for sipping and just uh, just kind of enjoying the day with family, friends. So anyway, sounds really good. Let me get my cheat sheet and see what it tells me. Um, so again, this bottle is from Austria. It's the first one I've had from them. And it's a 2020 Far and Wide Agruner Weltliner. Um, it's been rated 4.0 by 2,284 customers, 4 out of 5, so that's a really good rating. It's crisp, bright, aromatic. Um, it's got a light body, dry, 12.4% alcohol. Tasting notes of lime zest, melon, pineapple, and white flowers. So it says, uh, you don't need to search far and wide for a lively summer ready white. Just pop this bottle of Gruner Belt Liner. Alrighty, so let's see what it says. It says it's unique and refreshing white that's full of acidity, racy fruit, and a bit of spiciness. Grutner is a great alternative to Sauvignon Blanc if you are feeling a bit adventurous. Alrighty, we encourage you to get to know Gruner Veltliner. You'll discover a fresh, versatile white that's just plain delicious. It says a serbet chilled. It pairs well with fish, sushi, cheese, and fries. So anyway, that is bottle number two, and we will check back and see you next week when we do bottle number three. Cheers, everyone. Have a great week. Hi everyone, welcome back to bottle number three of my Wink Wine Club. And again, I know I just said this, but I'm going to say it again because it is such a fantastic offer. If you use my link below and you want to try some of the Wink Wine Club for yourself, your first four bottles will be $29.95. If you use Rakuten or Ebates and you haven't bought anything on the, off the Wink Wine site before, you can get $9 off. So your first four bottles are going to be $20.95. And again, if you decide it's, you don't like it, it's not for you. You do not have to get any of the bottles. You just cancel at that point. And if you do love it, your next four bottles are going to be $59.95. The shipping is going to be free. And it's just a fun, fun way. But to get your first four bottles for $20.95, awesome. So anyway, getting into our third bottle. So this is a Cabernet Sauvignon and this is from the South Australia coast. It's the called the Shipwreck Coast of um, Limestone, Limestone Coast. But anyway, this is the label. Rogue Admirals Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm sure it's going to tell us a little bit in the back about it if it focuses. If not, I'll read a little bit of it later. And anyway, this is from Australia. Last week we did the one from Austria. So just, again, it's just fun sampling different wines that are curated for you based on how you rate the wines that you drink. Anyway, looking forward to this. This, uh, the Cabernet Sauvignon, it does say to tell me that I, I should decant it or I'll leave it open for about 20 minutes. I did pour a glass earlier and put the uh, screw cap back on so that, uh, my glass is breathing. All right, so let's kind of move along here, shall we? So it's a nice, deep, purpley red. 
I, I know I can see it, but I, I don't think my camera is good enough to pick it up, but it is coating my glass. It's also tilting, the, tinting the glass too. I haven't seen that before. So to me, that means it's got to have some really strong tannins in here, the grape skins and uh, a nice high alcohol content, I think. Alrighty. So I'm going to swirl it around let all kind of all the aromas the fragrances just kind of unleash from being bottled up inside the bottle let them kind of all swirl around come together get some more air in there let it breathe a little more and then we'll just take a quick little sniff let you know what i think it is peppery it's, it's spicy like pepper like a nice black pepper and sweet like cherry and they're ready cheers everyone and i do think i'm smelling alcohol like a really higher wine content than i think i'm used to okay cheers everyone happy friday mm. this is good it's rich it's thick to me it's going to be like a really medium to a full-bodied wine um, you do test the alcohol a little bit more, so I think it does have a stronger alcohol content than some of the other wines that I've had. Um, really spicy, you can really taste that pepper um, in here, but also a sweetness, the cherry, but um, something else back here, it's got like a tartness to it at the same time. Could be cranberry, but I'm really not positive. Um, it's got nice tannins in here. It's smooth. It's rich. You can feel it kind of coating the upper palate and the inside of your cheeks. And then it gets back here and all the acidity kicks in. Those flavors just pop at you. But it does feel nice, smooth, and rich. Looks like a nice um, a sipping wine or nice with a nice uh, pasta with a heavy sauce or a nice, thick, juicy steak. I think it's going to be perfect as a dinner wine. But if you're just having like a cheese board or something and some some meats or something with it a nice sipping wine all right so let's see what my cheat sheets say so um this is a newer wine this uh rogue admirals it's a new wine to wink so only 309 people or 308 people have tasted it so far and rated it and out of um five points it's got a 3.9 um it says it's easy drinking dark fruit and peppery and i will vouch for the peppery but it, to me i i like that pepper taste um did you say it's a full body dry and 14.9 percent so it is a little bit higher especially since going into the summer i've been you know having fun with some of the uh, fruit wines which are like seven eight nine ten percent so you really do taste that 14.9 um tasting notes of black pepper cherry cranberry and strawberry so it says it's a fruity, spicy Cabernet Sauvignon from South Australia's Limestone Coast. And it says South Australia's Limestone Coast is known as the Shipwreck Coast due to its fearful shoreline. If you can manage to make it to landfall, the reward is an area rich in soils that produce phenomenal wines that probably reflect where they're from. Um, it's kind of skips over some of the reading here. Um, it does say that it's uh, got a touch of new oak. Um, so it's aged in new oak barrel. So it's got the tannins, but it's fresh tannins. It's just, it's a nice flavor. It says it's rich and easy drinking. This is a well-rounded red that will pair beautifully with robust dishes. Pairs well with burgers, pasta with cream sauce, cured meats, and barbecue. So again, bottle number three. Rogue Admirals Cabernet Sauvignon, another great wine. I'm going to enjoy just sipping on this for the rest of the night. And yeah, I want to thank you guys, and we will see you next week for bottle number four. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye bye. Hi everyone, back for bottle number four from my Wink Wine Club. So this one, and again, this is the fourth bottle from my fifth box from Wink Wine Club. Again, description will be below. I'll have a video linked of my first wine club and a playlist at the end. And again, if you do use my link, 
I not only get a free bottle of wine, you get your first box for $29.95. And if you are using the Rakuten Ebates and you haven't purchased from Wink before, you get $9 cash back. So your first four bottles are going to be $20.95. So my fourth bottle of wine, and this one is from Germany. So we've had, um, the first bottle was from France. We had a red blend, would drink again, was the name of it, 10 out of 10, would drink again. We had uh, the last bottle that I had was a red Cabernet or Cabernet Sauvignon from Australia, the Rogue Admirals. That was so, so good. And then we had one from Austria, which was a far and wide Gruner Weltliner. Again, that was a really nice wine. This one is from Germany and it's called Rome. Of the north. Alrighty, so this one is also a newer wine to Wink, so only 792 people have tasted it and commented on it, and it was rated four. So four out of five people would drink this again. It's a nice kind of yellow like a straw gold color very very light looking got a little bit of legs not much so i don't think it's got a high alcohol content so i'm just going to take a quick sniff it smells fruity it smells like a, like a lemon lime maybe pear some pineapple and i know sometimes rieslings can be sweet on the sweeter side sometimes on the dry side sometimes a little bit of both maybe so cheers everybody happy friday hmm. this is really good it's slightly sweet it's it's sweet but it's dry at the same time like when you're swirling it around in your mouth you kind of get that dry sensation from the tannins but then it's it's sweet at the same time the top of my mouth just feels the sweetness um, it's either like a lemon or a lime, maybe a little bit of both. I sm I'm tasting pine, pineapple, and pear. It just really, it's really refreshing. So let me take another sip to be sure. Mm. I'm going to say it's medium to full bodied. Um, it just kind of, you can feel the tannins kind of stay in your mouth a little bit longer, but it's got, it's dry, but it's got like a sweet finish to it. Maybe that's the best way to word it. Alrighty, so my cheat sheet. So um, this is a 2018 Rome of the North Riesling. It's from the Land Wine Rhine region in Germany. Uh, again, it's rated four out of 792 customers. They say it's elegant vibrant crowd pleaser the saying it's medium bodied slightly sweet 10.8 percent alcohol tasting notes of lime pear pineapple and whetstone maybe that whetstone is the, the tannin taste and maybe i have that sensation of that dryness not really sure what whetstone tastes like so it says originally cultivated in 17 bc by the romans to supply wine for the troops the my printed didn't print right here the mogul valley river valley aka the rome of the north is now home to some of the most classic riesling wines in the world our 2018 rome of the north is made from grapes that were grown in steep south facing slopes that allow the fruit to ripen slowly gaining complexity all along the way after harvest, the wine rests for eight months in its stainless steel and aging process that yields notes of stone, fruit, pineapple, and wet stone. The Riesling pairs perfectly with prosciutto, arugula salad, salt and vinegar chips. I haven't had those in so long. And a long day of conquering foreign lands. How to serve it? Serve it chilled. Pairs well with Thai sushi, cheeses, and cured meats. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in. I am really enjoying uh, my wine club and just tasting wines from all over the world and share them, share them with you. It takes me sometimes over a month to kind of 
taste off four bottles of wine and then put it together at the end. I try to do them on Friday, so when I say happy Friday, he really is doing it on a Friday. So anyway, cheers everyone. I want to thank you guys so much for spending time with me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So take care everyone. Stay safe. Uh, be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.